Hey, this is Robert. And Jessica. With Exploring the Local Life. Today we were going to talk about water or when boondocking. Yeah. First things first, before you go off boondocking, have you cleaned your freshwater tank? Yeah, make sure it's clean because you need to fill it up before you get to your boondocking spot. Yep, so get it disinfected, look at whatever instructions your RV came with, or find a resource on the internet. That's right, and clean her up and then fill it up with water. Ready to go. Ready to go. All right, so you gotta fill the tanks. If you're not at home filling up or somebody's mooch docking, or somewhere where you're mooch docking, where do you get that water? Yeah, there are several places that you can go, actually more than several, lots. Gas stations, rest areas, basically anywhere with a spigot. However, of course, if it's a business, go in and ask before you just start <laughs> putting your hose up there and filling up. Exactly. And also, you know, you'll sometimes see a dump stations at different places. And of course, if there is a hose by the dump station, do not use that hose. Do you don't know where it's been. Actually, you know where that's been. Usually it'll say non-potable water, not for drinking. Do yeah. not use that yeah technically the water i'm sure is coming clean but that nozzle yeah yeah, yeah. so keep don't keep do that yeah. yeah but if you still need water and you're not staying in an rv park go ahead and call if there's one along the way yeah. and find out yeah. if you're stressing out we need to get water we need to get water just just call an rv park and there while you're there fee. you may be dumping your black tank and your gray tank for That's a small right. fee so get it done get it out of the way because the last thing you want to do in this lifestyle is stressing out about your supply and water is a critical supply absolutely maybe five bucks maybe ten bucks just do it and go get your water and having said all that what happens if you do run out of water or if you think oh my gosh i've only got a 30 gallon tank there's no way i'm going to be able to make that water last as long as i need to so if you're really concerned about that you yeah. can bring extra water with you Yep, uh, have a backup, an emergency reserve of fresh water. Yes, and that can be, you can just go to the grocery store and just buy like jugs of water, or they also sell like collapsible ones that you can keep and reuse. Mm -hmm. And clean and reclean. That's right, and then again, since they're collapsible, they're not gonna take up a bunch of room in your RV. Exactly, if you're gonna be in an RV park for a while, you've used that water, collapse it, but then before you go out jaunting off into the wilderness, go ahead and fill it up again. There's something crawling up my leg. But it, 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 it laid an egg on me. Okay, so you have all your water, you're all excited. Now, how do you actually make that last so you're not like in a panic or you have to cut your trip short or you're going into your emergency reserves? Yes. Well, it comes pretty brutal, but here it is. If it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're one person or four people or five people. <laughs> so long as the stench is not overwhelming you and you're fainting when you go in there. Oh my gosh. You know, let it's the never gotten sit. that bad. No. No. <laughs> we well, somebody has to then do number two by the time that we even get to that point and then... <laughs> down it goes. Yes. Now, of course, if that idea is totally disgusting to so you, go ahead and flush, yep. of course. But there's also Two other products toilets. out there. There's composting toilets. The composting toilets. And then Robert's favorite. I want an incinerator. But that takes electricity, so then you get into that other, Yeah, that's another that resource it. that is limited when yes. you're boondocking. So composting toilets are something, to, a tool that we are interested in exploring. We are researching it. Um, it's going to cost some funding, so in the future hopefully we can talk about that. It does, but the idea of just flushing water down, fresh water down the toilet just really... It's just very wasteful. Gets, it does. Yeah. So that's what we're considering that. <laughs> to decrease your water usage. Yeah, it may be painful thinking that you're going through paper plates, but the difference in water savings is huge. That's right, but if you do want to still use your regular plates, you can do so, just like wipe them off, or use very little water and soap, or have like a little dumping station. All that can reduce your water yeah, without producing the garbage. Yeah, makes a fantastic garbage. difference, yes. And one thing I just thought of as well is, our RV has a very inefficient uh, faucet, pours out a lot of water, Get into aerating, some uh, faucet that aerates the water with just some slight mist, you will, won't re you will see how just what a difference that makes. That's right, you will save water. In other Lots words. of water. Yes. Another thing is uh, hand washing. You can always use hand sanitizer instead. Yes. Hand sanitizer. We also have a little bottle of alcohol that if we need to wipe down, we go with that if real quick. If things are getting really fierce and whatever, depending on the type of... Very uh, clean. Yeah, very clean. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing that you can also use are wipes. Mm -hmm. Like body wipes instead of taking a shower or doing a bath or anything like that. Yeah. One thing that we like, of course, is when we're out and about and been out for a whole week and getting really grimy, we like to use Epic Wipes. That's right. They're really, really big. They're like towel sized and you can even split it in half. It takes care of the big everything. tough jobs. Whether you've been out hiking, going for a big old run, getting all stanky, you come back home, 
get an Epic Wipe. You That's go right. to www.epicwipes.com and enter local 10 at checkout and you get a 10% discount. That's right. But if you're not comfortable with that, go get baby wipes. That's fine. Yeah, you might use a thousand to get clean That's or right. one Epic Wipe. That's right. Your choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We go with Epic Wipe. Yes. And then, of course, the ultimate in saving water, if there are facilities nearby, you can just use that. Like we're at a campground right now, no water at our sites, but there is a bathroom that has flushing yeah. water and electricity and all those things that you can use. So mm -hmm. so if you're really desperate, you can plug in your computer while you're using the can. <laughs> while we're talking about water. But yes, yeah, so you can brush your teeth. And, oh, yeah, we brush our teeth normally. We don't skip that. Oh, yeah. Ain't skipping nothing. No, nothing. No. <sighs> no. Oh, hey, baby. <sighs> So anyway, that was part. That was our uh, water uses tips. We're gonna have more on electricity and other things. So yep. stay tuned. Keep on, keep up, up. Keep on, keep on. Whatever. Yeah. So thank you for watching, and we will catch y'all later. Catch you. See you on the flippity flip. Mm -mm. Uh, anybody watch The Office? <laughs> Michael Scott. Goodbye. Bye, Michael Gary Scott. Oh my gosh. Bye.